This is Twit. You are both relatively young or early in your careers, and there's no no problem with that. But we talk, or at least I talk whenever I'm on this show, a lot about how to get started because I get that question from younger people a lot who are just going into, you know, uh, maybe software engineering program at university or something. And they ask about, you know, how can I get started? How, you know, how can I get an internship? How can I get something on my resume? Like, I don't have any experience, but you need experience to get these jobs and so forth. So I, I kind of want to ask both of you that question. Um, you know, what advice would you give? Because I look at both of you and I see, you know, you guys have been very successful so far. Um, in your careers, what what kind of advice would you give um, people, maybe your age or younger that yourself, younger than yourself, or even us old folks, uh, you know, who maybe want to change careers and get into this? What advice would you give them on how to start out, and what to do? I will I will start this as a recent college grad. Well, recent to twenty twenty, mm-hmm. I graduated. Um, be involved wherever you can. I ironically enough and I love this. I love telling this piece of, of story about my life so far is my hiring uh, where I'm at right now, which I started two days after my commencement, the Monday, it was my, I walked across the stage Saturday and I started Monday and that's, and starting in a position that paid more than most of the people that graduated with me. And a large piece of why I got hired was because of, of my experience. And my experience was just doing things that I enjoyed. If you are, um, if you're a developer and you want to, and you're going to school and you want, you know, you want to be a programmer for whatever you, you don't may not even know what yet. And you like doing that kind of stuff on the side then get some projects spun up, get involved in, in something open source that you see that you want to do and, or make it yourself, find a problem you want to solve and make it yourself, which, you know, that's, that's a large piece of how me and SNAZA got together and, and, and met each other was because of something he did that he made himself that I got involved in and just continue to, to do it and and learn and grow and before you know it you know if you're just starting in college four or five years down the line you're going to apply for a job and you have this thing on your resume that you never really probably thought about but in reality your employer is looking at this and going wow this kid right out of college has you know five plus years of of exactly what we're looking for and with me in the systems administration field, that was exactly it. I've run my own gaming community since 2013. I've been messing around with Linux servers since that time and, and Linux in general before that. Uh, I mess around with software because I like doing it. And it turns out every piece of what I was doing on my personal lab that I had translated a bit to my own business was being used here at the company that I work for. And they saw it was like a match made in heaven. And the degree matters, you know, but that was the the key piece that that identified me from the rest of any other applicant was not only was I familiar with the software and the systems that they use, but I'd been doing it on my own for, you know, seven plus, you know, seven years. Yep. No, that's that's great advice. Uh, Snazza, what about you? You're a seasoned bot developer on Discord now. You said you've been doing it for, what, like four or five years or something? Yeah. Um, I guess the way I kind of started off is I've been really, I just like using GitHub a lot. And so I just look over uh, GitHub repositories. Whenever I like using a project and it's open source, I always just like to peek around and take a look at the source code and see... Uh, what I could pick out and know how it operates. And that's generally how I've kind of started off becoming a programmer and knowing more about uh, APIs and such. And then once I've gotten on the Discord, that was like the first thing I jumped on to once um, Discord bots were a thing. Before it wasn't a thing, like officially, it was just ran over user accounts. But I was still interested in seeing how that uh, system functioned and how to 
make these features and make them accessible for other users. And so that's just how I mainly started off just going for what I was interested in and looking a lot around uh, GitHub and open source in general. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. Um, I think that's great. And it, it does match up with a lot of what, um, what I hear. And I know doc, you're, you're passionate about this as well, right? Yeah. And actually it was, I was wondering, Snazza, what, um, uh, a cool thing about Ralph is he's, he, he's already in his career. Do, do you have like a career path in mind or just, you want to continue just doing what you're doing? I mean, he was being very specific about loving being a sysadmin, which is an interesting thing to me because some people want to get out of that. He likes being in it. Um, is that something you want to do or is it you just want to be like a great programmer and go open source wherever it takes you? Just kind of curious about that. Um, I'm, I'm not interested in sysadmin myself specifically. I know how to do sysadmin work as much as it um, will I will do to host my projects, of course. But um, for me, I've mainly just been going for being a full stack developer, just making websites, des um, sometimes designing them, and making applications as well. As far as a career path's going, um, I've looked. I've looked into. Uh, I'm gonna definitely trying to make it as a career, but uh, there's not much specifics yet. I'm just um, just using what I've been doing and maintaining open source projects like I have been doing to hopefully build up that reputation. That's great. And I, I, I hope to see more uh, battle ribbons on your uh, avatar there. <laughs> hey, man, I'll tell you what, though, he can, I mean, he can, he can design a website, that's for sure. Uh, and <laughs> it literally started off with me saying, hey, we need to redo this. Again, one of those, you want to help? Because uh, when it comes to designing anything, I'm the most unesthetic person that you could ever meet. <laughs> He's like, okay, yeah, sure. And two days later, he comes to me with a, with a Figma uh, layout of, of a relative site template. I'm like, I love this. This is great. And he's actually wow. the one who redesigned all of the, all of the Craig sites and, and any of the sites that we've worked on for the projects. At this point, Snazza has redesigned them and does a bang up job. 